Combustion air is so important in a boiler room, and today we're going to be talking about that. Now, before we get to that, make sure that you go out, like us on Facebook, um, you know, follow us on Twitter, all of our social media channels. But the biggest thing is subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would do that for us, we would certainly appreciate it. Now, we're going to be talking to Gerald Blaine today about combustion air, and we're looking forward to doing this on The Boiling Point. Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware and this is Gerald Blaine. Now, Gerald, we're going to talk a little bit about combustion air um, and maybe just talk about a combustion air in a boiler room, um, why it's needed, um, and if we don't have it, what happens? Well, if we don't have it, uh, we're not going to have combustion. Mm -hmm. So we've got to have the proper amount of air with the right amount of fuel in order to have any kind of a flame. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the big terms you'll hear uh, in combustion air or anything is a stoichiometric, mm -hmm. which is approximately 10 parts of air to one part of fuel. Okay. But it's, it, to get that, uh, that's more of a lab environment. Mm -hmm. You don't really control that in, in the real world. Right. So what we're shooting for is to have about 15% of excess air okay. to ensure that we get full combustion. Okay. And where does that excess air come from? What's... Well, you're going to, there's going to be, there's air in the room now, we're breathing, uh -huh. but if you don't have a source to keep feeding this room, uh, we will consume it through the combustion process. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, louvers as an example, we have a fan pulling through over here on the other end. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our, the preferred way to do it. These are actually actuated louvers, so when any one piece of our equipment comes on, the right amount of louvering will open up to make sure that it gets that new fresh air for the combustion. Mm -hmm. And if all of them are on, then they're all, they're all open, yeah. right? So, and there's a lot of different uh, combustion animals. You know, we talk about burners all the time because that's what our main business is, but there's an air compressor over there. Uh, anything that is firing, uh, people don't think about air compressor, but it's, it's an engine. Sure. So it's consuming air as well. So right. you've got to account <clears throat> for all the different items in the room that are going to need to consume oxygen. Right. And there's something, you know, I've been in boiler rooms before where you actually either can't open the door mm -hmm. or when you do go in, it slams shut. Right. Um, what is going on in that situation? Yeah. Well, if you pull a heavy negative on the room, uh, you're going to be fighting to get this air in here, which is why we have the draft fans and the uh, and the louvering. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've had to too many times uh, go to a site, and the customer's complaining about you know my the gas head keeps burning up on my on my burner, mm. and we're like, well, when we set it up, everything was fine, and they're right. like, oh, well, we didn't change anything. Right. And you go back, and it's cooled off in the wintertime, and, and they find out that they put uh, plywood or plastic or something in front of the louvers <clears> because <throat> they say, well, it's too cold in here. Mm. Well, when you do that, you starve the unit, and they're like, well, it didn't, we didn't have that problem before. Right. Well, if you have a burner that was inefficient and you put a really quality burner on that runs low excess air, it doesn't have all that excess air to keep the flame from flipping around when you cut off the air. Okay. So uh, you want to avoid doing that. The reason the louvers are there are to fill in for all the uh, necessary air for combustion in the room. They're not there just accidentally. All right, so we have fuel obviously going into the burner. Um, you don't have enough air. Is there a CO issue when that Yeah, happens? if it doesn't snuff out, um, then it's going to have a poor flame, which is going to uh, create unburned fuel, mm -hmm. which is CO. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be flowing through a boiler or whatever the mechanism is. Uh, and if it stays burning in that bad state, it's just going to keep filling it up. And then if you end up adding air back in later and you've been flooding the unit with unburnt fuel, you could have an explosion come back on you. Mm -hmm. So the air uh, mixture and having it available is critical for the whole process. Right, right, okay. Well, we did a CO video, I know, um, a couple weeks ago on mm -hmm. the boiling point, and then you can go back and check that out because obviously we don't want a bunch of CO inside of a boiler room, and we talked about CO monitors. So, right. Um, 
All right, well, appreciate it, and we'll see you next time <laughs> on The Boiling Point.